Sister, you have any questions? You don't you got any questions, bro? What's your name? Donnell. Donnell. You, you see yourself in the sign right here? Yeah. We we're just showing our brother who he is according to the Bible and showing him that he's a yeah. special people. Just like y'all are special people, are chosen people by the Most High God. Y'all heard about this before, right? Slave trade. Y'all know this what happened to our people, how we got over here, right? Yeah. Did you know this was biblical prophecy that this would happen to us if we didn't keep the Most High God's commandments? The Lord said he would take us into captivity on ships if we didn't keep his commandments. That's what he said he'd do to us. Y'all got children? No children? Okay, we got children. Yo, y'all got parents. If you didn't do, if you didn't follow the rules of your father's household or your mother's household, what happened? Was there punishment, right? So it just is for us. The Lord has a punishment for us. Let's jump back to Amos chapter 3. We're going to show you that, okay? We're going to show you in the Bible that the Lord had a punishment for us because we did keep his laws, his rules to the house, okay? Read. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. We're going to show you that he only dealt with us from the beginning. All those people you see in that sign, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the diaspora that's been spread to the four corners of this earth, he's only dealt with us. We're the Israelites. We're the chosen people. We're going to show you that he only dealt with us according to the Bible. You're not going to get this in the Christian church or no theology school. You're going to get it right here. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Check out that sign, the children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, the Lord calls us a family. Read. Right. You only have I known. You what? You only have I known. The Lord said, Israel, you only have I known. He didn't mention the Chinese man. He didn't mention the white man. He didn't mention the Arabic man. He mentioned those 12 tribes right there, the nation of Israel. You only has he known. Read. Of all the families of the earth. Jeez. Of all the families on the face of the earth. Every nation on this earth is a family. All the Chinese is one big family. All the Japanese is one big family. All the Arabics is one big family. All the, what's the other people? Teach, family. Whatever the hell they are outside of Israel. They all their own family. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The Lord, therefore, he shall punish us for all our iniquities. All the things we did. That's why he's going to punish us. Read. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Well, you, can, you can start right there. The Lord said he's going to punish us for all of our nickels. So how, how, how can we prove that the law, statute, and commandments Sir. were given to us? Let's go to Psalms 147 and 19. Let's go to Psalms 147 and 19. We're going to show you that this Bible and the law, statute, and commandments were given to us, his people. Psalms 147 and 19. This is the Bible. 1 Peter 4 11 says, If any man speak, speak the oracles of God. So we're going to give you the Bible, thus saith the Lord. Psalms 147 19. We're going to show you that this Bible is only for our people. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Come on. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he got in the battle with the uh, angel. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. If you were given a law or a rule and you break that, you get a what? A judgment. You got a face in front of the judge, right? That's what the Lord is telling us. He gave us rules, laws, statutes, commandments. For breaking those, we have judgments. Read. He has not dealt so with any nation. The Lord said he hasn't dealt so with any other nation but the nation of Israel. This Bible's only for us. The law, statute, commandments. As far as brothers and sisters, y'all come over here, y'all get a chance. Chat these signs right here. We're going over our lineage according to the Bible, what God's expecting us. So the law is giving us the law, statute, commandments. He wants us to keep the law, statute, commandments. Okay? And as we go back to Deuteronomy 28 15. So we're going to explain to you why we went into captivity and how we're going to get out of this captivity. Brothers and sisters, y'all see y'all suffering this sign right here? Check this sign out. Check this sign out. Take a picture if you want to. Read that, officer. Uh, 2015. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Lord said if we don't listen to him, if we don't keep his law, statute, commandments, he's talking to the children of Israel on this 12 tribe sign right here. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. If we don't do all of his commandments, come on. And his statutes, free, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
we're going to show you this curse right here. Give me Deuteronomy 26. We're going to show you this. We brought this out earlier, but we're going to show y'all y'all just walked up. We're going to show you this curse in the Bible because we did keep God's commandment. Let's go and get that for our brothers and sisters. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Listen up. This is for the children of Israel. You so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Let's explain to what Egypt is in Exodus 20 and 2. The Lord is going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Egypt is another word for bondage. What's another word for bondage? What's another word for bondage? Captivity. Captivity, what else? Slavery. Slavery ship. So right, let's go back. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. This is, the this is one of the many curses that came upon our people for breaking the Lord's commandments. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, again with ships he's gonna bring us into captivity again with ships with ships with ships the Lord's gonna bring us to captivity again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again the Lord said we're not gonna see our homeland anymore again read and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. There, here in America, in other lands, we will be sold into our enemies. The Lord says we have enemies. This is what happened to our people who were sold into our enemies. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no man will be able to buy you or redeem you. No man will be able to get you out of this captivity. The only thing will get you out of this captivity is the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Thus right. saith the Lord. So we have to we have to come back to God's laws. So what are some of God's laws? Let's get um Leviticus chapter eleven. You know what do y'all eat seafood? Yeah. Y'all eat shrimps. Y'all like crabs, mussels, clams. Let let be each other chosen people. Matter of fact, before we get let's get through Romans seven and six. Then we want to jump to the law. I want to show y'all y'all special people. Above all people on the face of this earth. That's right. The Lord love y'all. Y'all his children. So he don't want you taking, he don't want you taking no type of nasty stuff into your body. Because y'all special, y'all separate from all the nations. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. He's speaking to y'all. He's speaking, the Lord is speaking to you. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord said, You are a holy people unto him. The Lord is selfish. He said, you, so-called black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, you are God's special people. Read. For the Lord, the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord has chosen you to be special unto himself, above all people on the face of the earth. Right. So any of you got children, so listen, if you have children, you want your children to eat the best things. You want pure, clean food to go inside of them. You don't want your child to eat any type of junk. So this is what the Lord wants you to eat to keep your body clean. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Who knows where the swine is? Who knows what the swine is? What's the swine, brother? The police. A pig. Right. Pork. Y'all eat pork? Y'all eat sausages? Pork, sausages, pork bacon? Yeah. The Lord said that thing is unclean to you. Yeah. It messes up your body. How does it mess up your body? <laughs> Let's get a curse. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 61. How does this mess up your body? The Lord said that food is unclean to you. And we're going to show you, devil said the Lord, how it messes you up. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Because y'all are special, y'all are holy. So you're not like the other nations. Your body is not like the other nations. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. So the Lord said, every sickness and every plague that's not written in the book of this law, read. Them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. 
The Lord said he will bring these things upon us to die or be destroyed. Give me first Corinthians 13. I mean 3 and 16. So do would you do you do you find high blood pressure in the Bible? No. High cholesterol? No. Heart disease? No. Do you find gout in the Bible? No. But the Lord said these sicknesses and illnesses will come upon you and overtake you to die or be destroyed. Why? Because these are unclean foods he told us not to eat. First, your body is a temple. Your body is holy. So you got to keep that thing clean and pure. You're not like other people in the face of this planet. You're not. You're special. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. See, you're the temple of God. So you shouldn't put unclean, defilable things into your body because it'll make you defile and God will have to destroy you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.